Yo, 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 what it do, man? This is your boy, Northern Floyd, man, with another reaction review, man. And um, this video is going to be about five scary things that's in the tunnels, you know? I don't know why people go into these dark tunnels looking for anything, you know what I'm saying? And to be honest with you, they probably don't even have no weapons. Y'all going into these dark tunnels with nothing to defend y'all self, no knife, no gun or nothing. Y'all just going in there, just dry looking for whatever it is. And then you take off running, you know what I'm saying? I guess that excites y'all. But it brings great entertainment for us. So, you know what I'm saying? We're finna check out this video. We're finna see what five scary things are in the tunnel. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, just kick back, chill. Let's see if one of these motherfuckers get killed or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Let's check it out. Let's see what they're talking about. The top five scary things caught on camera in a tunnel. Okay. The thing in the Risa tunnels. Project Risa was a mysterious plan by the German army to build a series of underground structures in the Al Mountains of Poland during World War II. However, the structures weren't completed, leaving only a strange set of tunnels and caves. Mm. The true purpose of these creepy tunnels has never been discovered, because no documentation describing Project Risa has ever been found. In this video, a group of explorers are trekking through the dark tunnels of Project Risa when they encounter another very bizarre cave explorer. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Look, man, what was that? And then they go take off running after the, they go see something, then they go take off running, you know, <laughs> towards it. <laughs> I'm running away. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, if I was with these guys, I'd be like, you know what? I'm not doing this, bro. I can't do this. I tap out, coach, take me out. I'm going back. You know what I'm saying? They see something, they running towards it. What the f and... The fuck? Oh, 4 no. user attempted to brighten and stabilize the scary video so that the strange creature could be seen a bit clearer. The fuck? You see how dark that tunnel is? And that thing was just running through the dark like it, like it didn't need eyes. Thing just running through the fucking dark. It don't need eyes. It's just... Yo, what was that movie uh, with them chicks go down in that tunnel and, uh, you know what I'm saying, those creatures was, like, killing their ass and shit. It's like, about six, seven chicks. They go down hiking and, um, I mean, go down in a tunnel. I forgot the name of that movie, man. It's a good movie because they got two movies. They had a part one and part two. It almost looks like some small, scary thing running on two legs through the narrow tunnels. Shit, it looks like it's running but on four legs. What do you think? Look like a, look Could like this a, be some strange German World War II experiment going wrong? Look like a little is it some mysterious something. creature? Or is the whole thing just some good special effects work? Uh -huh. The crazy thing they ran towards it. Stand by me. Three. Eve to me is basically freedom. It's a giant open universe where you can do Nah, boys decide to explore a train tunnel near Odell Lake in Oregon. Even though they have flashlights, the tunnel is so dark they can barely see more than a few feet in front of them. At first, they take their time, leisurely strolling on the tracks. However, as they get deeper into the tunnel, they realize that it's much longer than they originally thought. Oh, really? They seem to get a bit nervous and start to jog, trying to reach the other end of the tunnel sooner. Not as scared. Nervousness soon turns to panic. And one of the boys says this. Hold on, hold on. I thought I heard something. Where's the door? Where's the door? Where's the door? What do you mean, where the door is? Oh, we barely have way. What if a train started coming right now? Less than one minute later, it's always the it's always the dude that say, "Hey, what if such and such happens?" And it happens. 
after we make it through that tunnel, we got to catch a fade, bro, because you bad luck. You bad luck. We got to catch the fade afterwards. Don't be saying nothing like that. We trying to make it through the tunnel. You be like, hey, what if a train comes? You know what I'm saying? We can, uh, uh, as soon as we get out that tunnel, pop, I'm catching you because you the one who brought that train. What if a train comes? Smack. His question is answered. It's a train. Oh, no shit. No, it's a train. I'm going to get on the side. Fuck that. Just keep running. The boys jump into the muddy water next to the tracks. And as the train roars toward them, they press themselves tightly against the tunnel wall. <laughs> Yo, why does a train blow in the tunnel? Are they trying to warn people just in case somebody is in that tunnel? Like, hey, wake up, I'm coming through or something like that. What's that for? If that train going slow, we jumping on that thing. That's the ride right there. Luckily, the three boys make it through the train <laughs> passing without a scratch. And hopefully, after this incident, they won't take a stroll through any more train tunnels. So, have you ever had a near-death experience like this? If so, let me know down in the comments. No. The Descent. The Descent. The Russian YouTube channel Beyond features a guy named... That's the movie, The Descent. Oh, man, that's a, that's a dope-ass movie. Nick who explores creepy abandoned places. In one episode, Nick explores a series of narrow caves with his friends. The, the tunnel openings are so uh, small no. that he actually has to take off his backpack to make it through the tight passageways. But no, as he's removing man. his gear, his friends continue ahead. He calls out for his friends, but no answer. Ребята! Ребят! I would have freaked out. Ребят! He's left alone, lost in the cave. He has to crawl on his belly right underneath sleeping bats to make his way through the caves. О, oh, yeah. я так испугался, ребята. <laughs> Смотрите. <laughs> oh, that's a bat. As if all that weren't enough, strange things start to happen as he explores. First, his camera suddenly begins to act up while filming one particular alcove. Мне кажется, ребята, пошли не сюда. Здесь вообще дупик. Ой, блядь! А, это камень. Да хули я так боюсь? Видите, это еще не... Что с этим? Я покажу. Then, when he's trying to climb up a cliff, it almost seems like someone is throwing rocks down at him. It gets even worse when his light begins to die and he starts hearing strange noises in the cave. Oh, One man. is so loud it sends him running blindly in the dark, but he doesn't get far. Oh shit, see now he's scared. See now he's scared. <laughs> 
he's scared. He read it in the dark. He's scared and shit. That's why you don't do that type of stuff, man. Bro, you going you barely you barely squeezing through these holes in these caves. You get you might get stuck. You the lighting, your homeboys just left you. The, and now you're running around in the dark all scared. If you are willing to go into a tunnel that's dark and stuff like that, you know what you get scared for. You know what you signed up for? What the fuck? He decides to give up looking for his friends altogether. Yeah, with a big go back the way he came. But once he gets back to his backpack, even more bad news. Someone or something has been rummaging through his stuff. Damn. Oh, so. Are we smoking some weed? Yeah, no, wait, wait. What's up, brother? Went, went through his shit. Crazy. Go! Вроде ничего не взяли. Oh. Ребят, здесь кто-нибудь есть, ребят? Nick claims that even though he didn't notice it at the time, his camera seems to have caught glowing eyes watching him from the dark of the cave. But what do you think? Looking, uh, looking like that goddamn wolf off the never ending story. Y'all remember the never ending story at the end when the wolf in the cave and stuff like that and jump out at him and he end up stabbing him and stuff? That's looking just like that. Man. You know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> crazy, dog. <laughs> they definitely crazy. caught some scary things on camera, but are they all real or fake? I don't know. And are these really eyes or just some shiny rocks catching the glow of his flashlight that just right? You decide. It ain't no shiny uh, rock. Final destination. Now, when I first watched this video from Russia, I thought, wow, this motorcycle guy is crazy to be weaving in and out of traffic in a he tunnel at that me. speed. And then I realized he was riding a bicycle and that he was actually way crazier than I had even imagined. <laughs> Damn, that was going fast. Uh. <clears throat> He weaving through that traffic. Dude weaving through that traffic like it ain't nothing. You could tell he been he probably been through that tunnel a billion times. He's on a bicycle. He doesn't give a damn about uh lane switching or whatever. So you know you gotta watch out for people like that, man. You know what I'm saying? When you when you're driving, you got you don't watch yourself, you gotta watch others because it's cats like this that's looking for a death wish. Oh! <laughs> hey, man. You... Oh. He not even gonna tell him he knocked the sign out. He just kept it moving. <laughs> the drip plugin instantly turns your rough melody That's great. from this. Because they catch a ride. Might as well. Now, I know some people will say, hey, it's extreme sports, it's cool, and so what if he wants to risk his life? So, allow me to point out three other things that make this guy scary and dangerous to everyone on the road. Number one, he's weaving in and out of traffic, cutting people off, which means someone could swerve to avoid him and have a wreck themselves. 
Fat. Number two, that sign that he crashes into Bam. and breaks when he almost impels himself on the board sticking out of the truck. <laughs> well, that's a warning sign that warns other drivers that the uh-huh. truck is carrying an extra long load. Yeah. That way someone doesn't accidentally drive up too close at a stop and those boards don't go through their windshield like the logs in that freaky Final Destination scene. Oh, shit. Bam! Oh! But he just broke it, so now there's no warning at all. And number three, little known fact about this video, this tunnel that he's driving through is actually the Lafortovo Tunnel in Moscow. Now, you know that YouTube video called The Tunnel of Death, where it shows all these cars having random, horrible crashes for no reason? Well, yeah. this is that tunnel. It's nicknamed the Tunnel of Death because even under everyday driving conditions, cars often lose control due to water and ice on the road. So this is a scary video in many ways. At least that's my take. Let me know your opinion down in the comments. Grave Encounters. Oh, man. Three guys were exploring a tunnel under an old abandoned asylum in Canada when one of the trio named Oh man, that's one thing I hate is haunted houses, bro. I'm not finna do it. I'm not going in no abandoned house. I'm not no 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 no. Matt suddenly disappears. They Matt. turn back to look for him, but Matt is not there. Oh shit. Matt? Matt, Matt go. Oh, I told- Matt call the police. We ain't finna go. We call the police. Matt gone. I'm not finna look for him. I'm gonna be gone. So what if two of us go now? Okay? Yeah. Call the police. Let's go get to go get Matt. That's what they get paid for. Matt already oh. told you he's sick. He needed to take a breather. Matt! I swear. Me five seconds ago when he was there. Oh, yeah. Stop playing around here. Matt! Oh, he's freaking us out. Oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> Just go and take, take the right, take the right, take the right. Get take the right hand skirt. Video uploaders suggest that this figure dressed in what looks like an old oh, hospital gown God. could be the ghost of a former asylum patient. Mm. Now, I've searched, <laughs> but the source on this video is a little sketchy, with some saying that it's actually from the abandoned Anoka Insane oh, Asylum man. in Minnesota, not Canada. So if you know the original source of this video, Matt. please let me know down in the comments. What happened to Matt? <laughs> Crazy man, they never found Matt. Is he? <laughs> See, they almost got killed trying to go find Matt. That's why you gotta go get the police. Okay, Matt, you gone. First off, you shouldn't. Y'all should have never been there. Okay, you should have never been there. It's dark. Then you go try to find Matt. All right, uh, Matt's gone, man. You know what I'm saying? They never said what happened to Matt. But man, that's that's five scary things that you know that's caught on camera that that went down the side tunnels. You know what I'm saying? My uh, opinion of what I will tell you, don't go in no dark tunnels, man. Don't, it's nothing safe in there. It's nothing good in there. You know what I'm saying? Do not go into a tunnel unless it's to save your life. You know what I'm saying? And unless they, they, they bomb in your city or your country, you got to run in that tunnel, you know what I'm saying, for shelter like that. But other than that, bro, stay the hell out of tunnels, man. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, that was the uh, reaction to that video, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad y'all was able to kick back with your boy, North End Floyd. You know what I'm saying? Uh, subscribe, like the channel, you know what I'm saying? Do what you do. But I'm finna get out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, stay away from dark, scary-ass tunnels. You know what I'm saying? I'm out of here. I'm out of here.